<clears throat> Good evening, folks. Larry Miles here in Louisville, Kentucky. I want to do another little short devotional in my series called Renewing Your Mind Spiritually. Tonight's lesson is called, How Then Shall We Live? One of the greatest promises and most precious in the Word of God is the certainty of the return of the Lord Jesus Christ for His church. Christians are expected to live a different life than that of the unbeliever. Colossians 3, 1-2 tells us that we must set our minds on the things that are above, not the things that are on the earth. We must have a heavenly perspective. How should we live and conduct ourselves in the here and now as we wait for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ? Every generation of Christians in the first century has had the promise of his coming. Believing he could come at any time should motivate us to greater service for our Lord and his church. How should we live in anticipation of the return of the blessed hope as Paul calls Christ in Titus 2 and verse 13? We must be found not only waiting, looking forward to his coming, but must be active in faithful service to God. Paul gives us a wonderful motivation for righteous living. Believers are waiting for a hope that is already a reality, a certainty. We can look forward to Christ's return with eager expectation. We must adhere to the words of a song called, I'll work, we'll work till Jesus comes. By utilizing the term blessed hope, Paul brings out at least two aspects of Christian living that should be stressed today. One, waiting with anticipation, and two, hoping for Christ's glorious appearing. The waiting is good for us. It builds character, endurance, and perseverance. The hoping makes the bearing, makes the waiting bearable. C.S. Lewis wrote, it is since Christians have largely ceased to think of the other world that they have become ineffective in this one. Aim at heaven and you'll get earth thrown in. Aim at earth you'll get neither. Four words, I think, seem to characterize our earthly sojourn here. First one is called occupy. We're to use our talents for the Lord. I believe that every Christian has at least one talent that he can utilize to serve God. And maybe she has more than one. We sometimes don't use the talents we have. There's room in the kingdom of God for every Christian to develop and use their talents to work for the church. Second word is purify. We must say no to the world's attractions. 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 to 17. We must practice mind renewal in a mindless society, Romans 12, 1 and 2. The third word is watch. This watching will include waiting and working. We must seek to be active in his service and not just occupy a pew. We must want to do all it takes to grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Peter 3 and verse 18. The fourth word is worship. We gather around the Lord's table each Sunday morning should remind us of both redemption and the return of the Lord Jesus. Keep looking up. He may come today. I want to thank Roger Wilson for watching this Facebook Live video. We hope others will watch it later. I'll be downloading it to my hard drive and then uploading it to YouTube and putting on another few other links later on. Thanks a lot, folks, for watching this. And may the Lord bless you as you seek to serve Him in the here and now while we await, hopefully, the soon coming of our Lord Jesus Christ to take us home.